Hi folks, Kevin again here. I thought today that I'd have a little mini adventure and uh, show some of the beautiful forestry and uh, cook some lunch under a tarp. So uh, if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in. Come along, you're very welcome. As you can see, it's snowing. We've had snow now for the last hmm, about a week or so. Most of it had melted away, and then a whole lot of it came back in one big rush. This is known as uh, in Finnish as Takatalvi, or literally back winter. So just when you think that winter is gone and spring is just around the corner, winter goes, uh -uh, no, I'm still here, don't forget me. And uh, usually there's a cold snap that lasts for well, yeah, anywhere from a week to or more, and then the weather warms up again. I thought it'd be a nice thing to get out and film this winter wonderland before it uh, before it all melts. I have been filming with the Insta360 camera for quite a while now, and uh, while I like it a lot because it's very versatile, um, I also wanted to try my bigger camera. I've got a Sony. AX700, which takes really good film, but it is quite bulky. So uh, today is also an opportunity to try out this carrying option that I have here on my front. So this case is solely for that camera and uh, the microphone. It sits quite nicely, it doesn't really get in the way. I was a bit concerned basically that I would not be able to see where my feet were walking and then I'd trip over myself. But so far so good. It's basically a cheapo three litre handlebar box that you can have for your bicycle. And uh, all I did was attach two pieces of power cord and they're fixed in place with uh, ca light carabiners. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I have a bit of a thing for erratic boulders. And uh, this particular area, there are some beautiful specimens. For example, this one here. I'll just walk in front of it and give you a better idea of just how big this thing is. We're getting close to the place now where I'm going to try and put up a tarp. Uh, I came here a while back to scope it out as a possible place to put up a hammock as well. So if I walk between them. You can see just how big these boulders are as well. These are also very popular with boulderers, people who like to climb boulders with no climbing equipment. And uh, well, yes, as you can see, somebody has used it to do graffiti, which is a bit unfortunate. The rocks are quite beautiful by themselves. They don't need any extra ornamentation as far as I'm concerned. After much trial and error, I finally managed to get some semblance of a tarp up. I decided to use a ridge line and uh, I had to use wooden branches uh, packed down into the snow as, instead of stakes because the ground is too hard here, or too rocky certainly. So for dinner today we have some couscous and then we have some food that I made today. It's uh, fried chicken with broccoli and kidney beans. Couscous is almost ready. With a bit of luck, I'll have enough uh, 
water left for coffee, hopefully. I thought I didn't have enough water for coffee. <laughs> I'm surrounded by this though. Cheers. Okay folks, it's starting to get a bit dark now, so I think my cameras will be at the limit of what they can do. So uh, I will use this opportunity to say thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully I'll catch you again on the next trail. All the best. Bye bye.